number one note that I've ever seen in any system by any user that I've ever trained or been with is how to correctly pronounce their name. The big one, you know, hyphenate it or do whatever you can. Just, you know, spell it out. Sounds like a lot of that stuff. Big one. Uh, the other one is uh, keypads, gate locks, directions, how to get the customer home. Big one. Uh, how the customer likes to communicate. You know, only email, only text, only phone calls. And then after that, it's specifics about the car, like uh, keeps will lock, you know, in the glove compartment or has a breathalyzer usually. Got to call this company. A big one. That happens a lot. And we, we usually charge for that. If you come out with the breathalyzer, we're usually going to charge you about 100 bucks to deactivate it and work on your car. And you have to stay there with the pain in the butt, right? Uh, so things like that, think about the things that you would need just to uh, take care of your clients. Like what were the notes would you would use? But in the automotive world, it's for the, either the customer personally, where they live, how to get there, or about the car, where to find things, don't touch this, uh, you know, don't try to sell them tires because, you know, maybe they have a tire dealer in the family, things like that. When I was an advisor, and we're using a real basic software, not a lot of functionality. So with TechMetric, one thing that I notice when I talk to people that they don't use a lot of, which I think I would, is the statuses. I would make sure that my status is always correct. Because at any given time, if I got to run out or another advisor has to come behind me or if I'm the service manager trying to figure out what's next, setting these statuses is, is real important. Because if we need to order parts, everyone needs to know that. And if it says needed parts, then I'm going to come back in here and that's the next thing I need to do. So it is a task to keep up with it like anything. But, you know, this is going to lead you in the right direction most of the time. You also have another tool. So a lot of times customers absolutely need their car back at a certain time. This can be stressful because the technician's moving slow. The parts haven't shown up. Customer expects it you know, at a certain time. So now I feel like with the, the technician, the advisor, everyone on board, you have a timeline. So I know that this car needs to be done by five o'clock on the 12th. If this font turns red, it means we've taken too long. So technicians can see this as well. So figuring out when the car needs to be ready, making sure you get your status is correct. So everyone on board knows where we're at with the car, I think is crucial to getting the car out in a timely manner. Well, we isolated to the technician's name. They don't have all the information on here, but they absolutely have the timeouts. So one of the biggest problems I think we've had in the automotive world is communicating. Communicating with the technicians in the back, having to talk to customers and getting the correct information from the customer to the technician so we can figure out what's wrong with the car. That's been a big problem. I mean, you're always going to have the human element, you know. It, it, you just got to talk to the customers. But the other problem was finding technicians. So now with this, technicians do have a digital clipboard so they can see when they've been dispatched to work. So theoretically, there shouldn't be any, any lag in communicating now. You know, you don't have to wait for your technician to come up to give them a piece of paper to work on a car. Mm -hmm. Now you just assign it. Theoretically, this technician, no matter where he's off or she's off, goofing off, they know that they have a car and they should get on it right away. And then we're here to work. And I get it. I was a technician, man. I love goofing off. But bottom line, we're there for a reason. Yeah. So I think just being electronic repair orders takes away a lot of the, the lag time of, of shifting back and forth and, and, you know, what court the ball's in. And I think everyone's clearing on, on point right now with this, if they're using it correctly.